Everything was what? muted. Hi, guys. Can, can you hear that? The test, just like on a, on October 4th, October 4th, everybody's getting an emergency signal to their phone. Everybody's getting, at least in the U.S., getting emergency signals to their phone, and it's coming through the TV and the radio. Didn't you hear about that? Uh-uh. No. Yeah, there's a big, <laughs> big conspiracy theory that it's going to be brain control, and it's going to turn us into zombies. <laughs> really? Too late. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, October 4th. Halfway there. Who wants 200 million brainwashed zombies? We're a lot more useful, productive, the way we all (laughs) Okay, so uh, when we left off, Jinx had uh, found a text scanner. Now, I'm going to read the description right out of the book for you. This is a 500 eddy expensive item. It is a cyber arm option. The scanner diagnoses a wide variety of machinery and electronics, assisting the user in repairs or other technical work. The user adds plus two to their basic tech, or cyber tech, or land vehicle tech, or sea vehicle tech, or air vehicle tech, or electronic security tech, or weapons tech skill. So, I'm hearing I added to all the tech skills. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me, too. <laughs> nice. I don't see any. Uh, requires a cyber arm and takes two option slots. Um, you've definitely got two option slots open. Mm-hmm. Uh, multiple installations of this option provide the user no additional benefit. So you can fill your arms up with tech scanners, but uh, only one of them works at a time. Gotcha. Okay. Now, um, uh, Allison, you're the newest player. I don't know if I ever explained uh, humanity points to you. Uh, no. <laughs> but, no. Okay. Your character starts with um, a uh, number of humanity points. Uh, a number of humanity points that, uh-huh. which can be as high as 80, can be as low as 30. Uh, as you lose humanity points, you get a little, little closer to cyberpsychosis. Uh, huh. You start developing symptoms when you drop down below 30. You uh, start developing severe symptoms when you drop below 20. And when you drop below 10, you are uh, diagnosed with full-blown cyberpsychosis. I'm at and... 24 out of 60, though. Yeah. If you drop to zero, you become an NPC. Okay. <laughs> you can, uh, you can regain some of the humanity points that you lost. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can't gain more than your starting point, but you uh-huh. regain humanity by do by uh, attending uh, therapy and counseling sessions huh? with, with a med tech. So uh, that, re- that requires a good chunk of your downtime to do so. Gotcha. It's useful if you don't want to, you know, you know, completely psychotic. Gotcha. Great. Well, I must have I rolled crappy because I've only got the one cyber thing and I'm down to 30, <laughs> but I only started off with 40. Yeah. The problem <laughs> is with not wanting to go that psycho is by the time you're that low going lower, would you even care or no? Typically not. <laughs> That's how it happens. That's often how it works. <laughs> team has an intervention because <laughs> they're like look i appreciate this but uh you're pushing it <laughs> speaking of downtime um i know that uh calvary would like to spend some downtime salvaging and as it happens artel sorian also put out a uh some supplemental material specifically about salvaging 
So we're going to play with that. But Yay! Uh, is that also it's... from uh, April 1st, or...? No, no, not the... <laughs> Good question. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where your mind is at, but no, this one was, did not come out on April 1st. This is legit. Um, it does, however, take a week of your downtime. So uh, I'm interested in uh, what everybody else is going to be doing during this week. You can also try salvaging. Uh, you could uh, get dragged kicking and screaming to the counselor's office to regain some humanity points. Uh, <laughs> the tech could attempt to build something during your week of downtime. Um, am I close to any cities to get said arm installed? Yes. I would probably get the arm installed. Okay, you're less than a day's drive outside of a, outside of a clinic. You can absolutely do okay. that. And uh, your other option is uh, performing your weekly gig. And that takes a full week, and you earn a... It's related to your role, and you earn a few eddies as a result of doing that. Not as much as going on an actual mission. But considerably more than uh, uh, sleeping in the campsite all week long. So, uh, Zara. Oh. Uh, what is Zara going to be doing for the next week? I would probably be finding ways to make money. Or, if I have enough money, I'll probably be drinking by a campfire. <laughs> In the camp. Well, you do have enough money. Yeah, okay. We're going to get drunk by a campfire. We're going to do target practice on bottles and small animals in the forest. Uh, yeah, we're relaxing. Is it a cactus forest that you're going to? <laughs> snakes. Small snakes and lizards if we're in the desert. Great, so when we see a, 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 uh, a bunch of, uh, what are they called, frilled, um, gosh darn it. Gila monsters? No, those are the orange and black looking things that uh, have the thick tails. The no, the, I'm talking the the they they, they they look like little mini Dilophosaurus because they got the the frill that comes out and they 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 run real weird on their hind legs. <laughs> those Gila monsters? No idea. Gosh, darn. Whatever animals I shoot, though, I'm cooking. So whatever animal you're thinking of, you can eat. Okay. Old neck lizard? <laughs> A frill hey, neck Zip. lizard? Yeah. I thought they were I called something else, say, but... Can I do the whole bender thing and just literally do le leisure? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, and uh, if uh, if getting the arm only takes me a day or two, I will probably be tinkering around with something, trying to make something new. Okay. Out of the scrap metal that came with the box. All right. Uh, both uh, Zara and Zed are going to be lounge are going to be taking a week off, doing some lounging, doing some drinking. Uh, can they stand each other's company for a full week? Um, I think they both would be pretty damn quiet, wouldn't they? Yeah. <laughs> I think Nara's they'd both have the same mindset. Chit -chat. Money. Yeah. All right. I'm going to, in that case, award uh, both Zed and Zara a one regained point of humanity one humanity <laughs> point just because we didn't talk because you spent your down t because you spent your downtime actually resting oh and being um, because, human. 
I was murdering animals, but okay. <laughs> and also because, um, I think that uh, uh, Zara is never going to uh, go to a counselor willingly. She would have to be dragged, kicking and screaming. <laughs> Luke's a better therapist than anyway. <laughs> or Zed, Zed's a better therapist. He just sits there and drinks with her. <laughs> Zed does have cyberware, right? I don't remember. He does. Um, he has grafted uh, muscle leg bones. Ooh, that's a good one. And implemented linear frame. Okay, then yeah, you got a lot of humanity to regain. I do. I'm at uh eighty uh I have maximum is eighty, but I'm at fifty seven now. Wait, did you say seven? So I started at eighty, but I've got fifty seven currently. Oh fifty seven. Okay. That's correct. My mistake. I heard seven. <laughs> that... <laughs> 57 is fine. I'm at 57. I'm at 58. Currently, it's going to go down as soon as I roll. <laughs> 57 is once in a while you get you feel a little grumpy because all of these fleshy people keep asking you to open the jars for them. That's me now. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. That, that's definitely Zed. <laughs> okay. Uh, Allison, do you have any idea what it is that you're going to try to build during your, during your downtime? Hmm. Let's think about it for just a little bit. Okay, you think about that. Uh, we'll go to Calvary. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Calvary. Uh, you drive out to uh, the coordinates, uh, which looks like a dry lake bed, and uh, you are way, way outside of any nomad camps or any cities, and we'll say that the uh, whole group goes there. It's just that uh, Zara and uh, Zed will be doing their lounging uh, at your work site. you got coordinates. But it's not like there's a red flag in the ground that... Dig oh, here! <laughs> yeah. It's not like Minesweeper. <laughs> so, so you do have to do a little excavation. You do have to do some... There is some guesswork involved. Now, in these... Uh, rules. Uh, you're going to be looking for a uh, specific piece of salvage, uh, or a specific category of salvage, anyway. Programs and software. So that's going to mean you don't have to make your first roll. However, it is it does mean that you're going to have a more difficult target number for the roll that you make. Understandable. So the second step is uh, determining uh, what the worth of the salvage is going to be. And you don't know ahead of time what that's going to be. So... Uh, I want you to roll me a six-sider, please. All right. Five. Five. Okay, that's going to be... Oof. That's going to be a lot of money if you find it, but uh, the your DV is going to be a 29. <laughs> Because you're looking in a specific category, and because it's going to be a valuable item. So, 
here is how you make your uh, roll. You're going to be rolling your basic tech skill. All right. That is a that is a technical skill. Uh, so it's going to be D10. And I imagine that before you make this roll, because it is going to be th uh, so difficult, you're going to be padding this in <laughs> multiple different ways. So what is your basic tech skill? Five. Five. Okay, does that include... <laughs> Does oh, basic, yeah, tech? basic tech, yeah, five, yeah. Really? What is your basic tech stat? Like, five. You know, your five, okay. And there are no points that were put into the basic tech skill? Nope. No? Okay. <laughs> well, uh... <laughs> In other words, so you're saying this is probably going to be absolutely impossible, then. That's not good. Um, there are there are ways that you can pad this. Uh, By bribing his partner, his uh, teammate. <laughs> mine's no yeah. better. Yeah, mine's a two, so you got no hope. <laughs> Basic tech. Are you going by stat level or total? <laughs> yeah, that's his total. <laughs> His total? My total's 12. It's 5? <laughs> I'm a lawman, not a tech. <laughs> okay, so it's not... Uh, so uh, this is one of your options that you can do. Uh, you can uh, invoke a uh, corresponding skill. So if you have another skill that you think is going to be helpful, you tell me what that's hmm. what your other skill is going to be. Uh, wilderness survival might be helpful here. Maybe Electrical tracking might be helpful. Deduction might be helpful. Anything jump out at you? And that's the only thing that's really jumping out to me that would. Yeah, as I say, deduction would would be beneficial. Uh, perception or uh, tracking. Yeah, those are all good answers. Which Maybe of the... can still reveal? Yeah, you probably have a couple of points in that. Which one was that that you said? Hello, Munchkin. <laughs> yeah, conceal reveal is an awareness skill. It's near the, it's near the front of your character sheet. Yeah, uh, my my tracking um, or uh, deduction is a total of a 13. Ooh, those are both good. Okay, roll one of those, and I will uh, set the DV uh, at, say, uh, 17. So... If you're no, I'll set the DV at 15. So if you're able to beat that, it's going. That's going to give you your first bonus to your tech roll. All right. So I rolled a nine. And that add that to the 13. So 22. Okay. All right. So that's going to give you uh, your first point of bonus uh, to your a basic tech role. Now, uh, another thing that you could do is that you could use the proper tool for the job, and uh, may maybe you could talk your teammates into loaning you something that would help you. I don't hear any volunteers. <laughs> but he's got to talk someone into it. I, I, I'm, I'm, he's I'm asking actually... politely. 
I'm I'm wondering if that um guess there aren't where to go. If my forensics kit would help me. I don't think I have anything that would help you, but I was also distracted, so I'm not sure what we're looking for. <laughs> yeah, Mava. Okay, let me ask you this. Um was there any crime committed when <laughs> the, these gang cartridges were dumped? No, the company was just trying to get rid of them. <laughs> if the real life is canon. Yeah. This is a littering charge. Technically, we would it would it was in a landfill, but oh, you guys are in a land. It's in a landfill. Oh my goodness! I thought it was just out in the middle of the desert somewhere. No, it was. Uh, they actually dumped it in, dumped the cartridges in a landfill. Uh, okay. I mean. Again, I have, for basic tech, I have 12, <laughs> but... I mean, didn't Jinx just get an item that literally helps you find tech? Yeah. I mean, but do we call the ET cartridges tech, though? <laughs> For... I don't think this counts, but I have conceal reveal object, but I think that's on my own person. Uh, only if Calvary can uh, talk you into helping him salvage. Calvary is too stubborn to ask anyone for help. I want to just hear how a this second. Is go. Jeez. <laughs> Mine's a fourteen. <laughs> So yeah, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to post what uh, kind of what looks like in the 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 landfill. Oh, okay. That'd be interesting. <laughs> that is that is some prime salvage right there. <laughs> okay. The. Here's a here's another one. Oh, is that photoshopped? No, no, I don't think it is. That is <laughs> Uh, but we're going to say that uh, that's the environment that uh, Calvary <laughs> is uh, marching through out here. And a ban an abandoned landfill uh, on the outskirts of some ghost town out in New <laughs> Mexico. All right. And... Okay, uh All right. So, um uh, anybody happen to have a shovel? Did we did, did we did we pack a shovel? Um a pickaxe? I just a look broom. at him going. Well, you know, I made I, this uh I made this metal I detector when I was messing around while, I, you know, when I got off of the uh I got my cyber arm done. Metal detector. There's going to be a lot of that in here. This is a landfill. Yeah. You don't know it what it would is. You're looking it for cyber not. tech. I'm willing to help you. You're willing to pay. 
Well, from what I from what I remember, these uh, just one of these things catches a, a fair amount of eddies on the on the uh, the collector's market. Zara pops up. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, let's try using your uh, fabrication ability to build a metal detector. All right. Okay, I have to roll for. To... I have to roll to lose humanity points too. Yeah, two d six. Ah, good point. Let's yes, let's resolve that right now. Allison gets back with uh. A shiny new tool built into her cyber arm that she's sh- huh? that jinx went off. And how many points did that cost you? <laughs> Eleven. <Ooh. laughs> I rolled great. <laughs> I'm at uh, forty-seven. So after taking away eleven, I, I I was at fifty-eight initially, and now I'm at forty-seven. So okay, uh, you do not technically. Uh, display any signs of cyber psychosis yet. But yeah, that's a big chunk to lose all at once. <laughs> I rolled great. Zara will that's give okay, her a though. thumbs up with her cyber arm and say imitation is the most sincere form of flattery. <laughs> <laughs> right, so what? I'm rolling a uh, okay, rolling first, a tensider what? for the metal thing? Yeah. yeah fabrication. Uh, what, Tell us what the tech tool looks like when it pops out it of your arm. Like... And you... Well, uh, I'm going to say it's. Uh, it. it looks a lot like. Um... It's metal, but it's uh, it's it's got a nice sheen of sort of uh, um, rainbow type quality to it. <laughs> You know how like the metals look that um have been sort of painted to look um I'm trying to remember the name of the actual metal itself, but it's like an old ancient kind of metal that they used to make. Um Damascus. they still do it now. What? Damascus steel? That one, yes. Damascus steel look to it. Uh I had the D part of it, but I'm like, ah, I can't remember the exact name. But yeah, it looks like Damascus steel. Um, other than that, it pretty much looks like an arm. Uh, I do have a uh, flesh-colored glove I can put over it so that it looks a little bit more like, you know, or, or uh, like uh, if I want to kind of blend in a little bit more. Um, other than that, it's if I take that off, it's it's pretty lit up and, again, looks like Damascus steel and the more buttons, the happier I am. So that thing's pretty shiny. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, on to the metal detector. Um yes. This is uh how fabrication works. Uh okay. you're going to build an item. We're going to call this a uh costly item. So your DV is going to be a 13. You're going to roll a 10 sider. You're going to add uh the tech skill that uh best describes the that best matches with the item so this could either be electronics slash security or basic tech i'll give you your choice both 12. <laughs> it could even be cyber tech it could even be what tech it, i said it could be cyber tech cyber if tech. you want to build, build it's also 12. <laughs> They're all 12. Like, all of them are 12. <laughs> okay. We'll go with basic tech, then. Okay. Uh, your DV is uh, 13. This is going to cost you six hours, so um, you'd only have to roll a two or higher on your 10-sider. Okay. And uh, are you using your tool hand to build this, or are you going to use uh, your tech bag? Uh, what's the difference? Uh, the tool hand is uh, gives you a plus one bonus to your roll. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm going to use the tool hand. It's okay. a tech bag? Gonna use... Yeah, going to use tech the bag. tool hand. Okay. 
Then okay. you only have to roll a. Then you only have to roll higher than a one. And if I s possibly roll a one. <laughs> If you roll a one, uh, then... do I get a bonus for the little whatever... Fi no, that's for finding. Never mind, that's for finding. Never mind. Uh, in that case, you have wasted your six hours, but the materials that you use do not get used up. And you're at a... And you're at a landfill, so you've got... You've got free materials anyway. Okay, I can so try again. All right. <laughs> All right. This time I rolled a four. All right. <laughs> that is adequate. Okay, so this takes a total of 12 hours. Uh, your first six hours are spent uh, picking up, uh, picking out pieces, uh, building your uh, metal detector, and the darn thing just doesn't work. Uh, you were using parts from a landfill, so who to thunk? So uh, weird. Your second attempt at metal. <laughs> you now have a working metal detector that you can use to help cavalry who is make who is making uh, no progress whatsoever so far. <laughs> First, I'm gonna run the metal detector over his head <laughs> to hear how much it be. See, works good. <laughs> Can I roll street slang to call him names and berate him? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Can I stand next to the metal detector? Since my body yes. is basically, like, my bone structure is basically metal. I have a nine, huh? but I rolled a one. <laughs> Holy okay. Roll another ten cider and subtract. Uh, subtract the one or subtract ten. Um, you rolled a ten after you after you rolled the one. No, no. Oh, that's oh. Street okay. okay, your current total is ten. You're going to roll a ten cider and you're going to subtract that from the ten. Two. So an eight. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was going to set the DV at ten. <laughs> So you, Cavalry, so, uh, you wet, soggy umbrella. <laughs> duh. <laughs> I look at her. Go, good one. Z Z Zara, <laughs> how much have you had to drink? I've I've gained too much humanity. This is terrible. <laughs> Okay, um, here's something that might either help or hinder the, uh, search process. I'm going to have you guys, I'm going to have Calvary roll for weather. No, I'm <laughs> going to have, I'm going to have Zed do this because you haven't rolled any dice yet tonight. Okay. Uh, let's roll to see what the weather is going to be. Uh, we're going to use the... Uh, September to November chart. Roll me a six cider. Uh, one. A one. Okay, a light rain. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, going to be cool. About uh four degrees Celsius, forty degrees Fahrenheit, which is uh not bad for New Mexico. Um, I say nice for the desert. Place. <laughs> yeah, during a part of the during a good part of the year, um, uh, because this is a uh, partially apocalyptic setting, uh, most of New Mexico is uninhabitable. Uh, uh, and that changed is, how. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the good news is that you don't have any. Uh, ash storms or uh, acid rain or blood rain or radioactive wind storms, all of which were remote possibilities. <laughs> nice roll, Zed. <laughs> like me, I, I mean, nice roll, Zed. I, I like not having acid rain yeah. pouring down. <laughs> I'm not going you would have gotten more etching on your, on your Damascus steel arm. 
I have the human part, like a yeah. human glove covering yeah. it right now. <laughs> I'm not going to give you any bonus for uh, searching in these conditions, though. No. So, okay. Uh, you've got a metal detector now. Um, if you uh, can talk Jinx into letting you use it, I'll give you a plus two points to your roll. Uh, you're going to get another one for your corresponding skill, and another one because you're taking your time. So that's nine points uh, plus your D10, I think. Am I remembering that correctly? Yeah. Okay. I'm... <laughs> Okay, waiting to hear, I'm waiting to hear the charm, Calvary. <laughs> we need a rousing Ow. monologue. Oh, God. A la Independence Day. I was looking for... Uh, <laughs> looking for, I'll give you 25% of whatever I find. <laughs> Twenty-five percent. That's all. Sure, oh, if you, if that's what you want in order to find these these ET cartridges. I will okay, go with you is... when you go to sell them. <laughs> okay, I've got a better idea. I'm going to let you roll, and then the value is going of what you find is going to depend on what roll you get. Oh boy. So we're going to roll first, then we're going to set the value. Didn't we so already do that? I rolled a five. Oh, I thought that that was your. I thought that that was your base that you were going to add to the roll. No, you would. You you would. Uh, you told me to roll a d six in order to uh, kind of get the the value of it, mm -hmm. and okay. before I and that I wouldn't know until we actually. Okay, I understand what you're saying now. Uh, I misunderstood. Uh, yes, we did that, and we're going to throw out that roll because um, uh, you're not going to hit a DV-29. <laughs> you, would have to, you would have to roll, like, two consecutive tens in order to get that high. All right, so another so, D6 then? No, no. Uh, roll oh. your ten side. Uh, you're okay. going to make your basic tech roll now. So seven... Plus the nine, so that takes me up to a sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Well, uh, uh, that's not great. <laughs> Does he get a, doesn't he get two bonus points if he's using the metal detector? I already added that in. Okay. <laughs> the DVs that you're looking at, you are right between the uh, fifteen and the seventeen. So, uh, you do manage to pull out some game cartridges. Uh, you have successfully pulled out some game cartridges, but they are only worth, uh, 20 eddies. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it took a whole week doing this. <laughs> Story of my life, just like my love life. <laughs> the good news is that... <laughs> The good news is that you did not trigger any critical failures, and those would have been in those would have been interesting because those are unique. Uh, okay, all that interesting and unique usually sounds like very very bad for whoever triggers this thing. <laughs> Shannon's used to them. <laughs> okay, because we've got some time to burn. <laughs> Uh, I want, uh, why doesn't everybody, uh, get bored at some point during the week and, uh, try your own hand at salvaging? Nice. So as long as you don't, my, uh... you're not going to lose. You're going to come away with something. <laughs> okay. What do you want to I'm going to rip my metal detector back from Jason or from Calvary while I do this. <laughs> okay. You've got it back. All right. What am I rolling first? Or I'm sorry, who goes first? All right, we'll start with you, Allison. 
Uh, huh? What I want you to do is I want you to roll a 10-sider. <clears throat> and okay. still what you're going to add is your basic tech. Which for you is pretty darn high. Uh, it's going to be a 19. Okay. I have 12 plus 7, so it's 19... I add in the metal detector to that, or is this something different? Um, it's not going to make a difference uh, this time because okay. uh, it's, that's not going to uh, twenty one isn't going to quite boost you high enough in order to uh, break through to the next DV level. So mm -hmm. uh, you pulled out uh, fifty eddies worth of scrap. Oh no, wait! You're not looking for anything specific. So you pulled out a hundred eddies worth of scrap. Uh, roll me a six-sider to find out what your salvage category is. Two. Two. Uh, you found uh weapons. <laughs> so you've got fifty eddies worth of weapons. Fifty or a hundred? No, I said a hundred, didn't I? Okay. Now, I think that I'm the only one with a rule book out, so I will. <laughs> so I will look up uh, what a hundred dollars worth of weapons will buy you. Uh, can I sell the weapons, or if they, I think they're useful, can I keep them? The answer is yes. You may do either one. Oh, here we go. You found an air pistol. This is an exotic weapon. It's just a really cheap and kind of crummy exotic weapon. Gotcha. An, ex an exotic medium pistol. It fires paintballs which are typically filled with paint and thus deal no damage. If you filled with if acid? you filled the paintballs with acid, however, each acid paintball still deals no damage but lowers the stopping power of the target's armor by one with each successful hit. Great for trying to capture someone alive. Damage dealt by this weapon cannot cause a critical injury. Ammunition costs the same as for a normal medium pistol, even if filled with acid. So the name of the item is Air Pistol. Cool. Okay. And as a tech, you can fabricate your own ammo for this. First, I'm going to shoot a paintball into Calvary's face. Just to check and see if it works. What color? Pink. Okay, roll me a ten cider. La 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 la. Cover it, us, we. <laughs> Four. Four, okay. And, um. Do you want to tell me what the range is from which you're shooting? Uh, pretty close. <laughs> Yeah, what do you mean? I'm right far away you. from you because I'm I, I, I'm still trying to find other find more cartridges on my own. Your D is only a thirteen. So, uh, what is your pistol? What is your handgun skill? Um, I don't know if I have a handgun skill. Oh. Well, in that case, you're going to add your reflex. Reflex, reflex, reflex. It's near the top of the uh, Reflex is seven. Okay. Four plus uh, seven is an 11. You needed a 13. Ah. Uh, that was worth it to check. <laughs> yes. 
However, <laughs> this is a straight shot. Let's see if it hits anyone else. I rolled a four. No, it uh, uh it hits an old sign which reads um uh the uh Death Valley landfill, no trespassing. <laughs> <laughs> It nice. now reads Death Valley Landfill Trespassing. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, hey, Luke, would you like to try your hand at salvaging? Uh, yeah, can I use Reveal Object? Yes. Uh... Roll your reveal, your conceal reveal object first. That's a ten sider, plus the base for that skill. Twenty three. Twenty three. Yeah, conceal reveal object and intelligence. Okay. Yeah, that's. Oh, I was going to set the DV at fifteen. Well above that. So now you've got a. Uh, that is your corresponding skill. You're going to have an extra point to add to your basic tech skill roll. You're still rolling basic tech for salvaging. So roll me a 10 sider. Add your basic tech, which is a tech skill. And then add one extra point. That'd be 10. Oh. Your total is only a 10? Yeah, my tech's only two. Okay. Tech is two. You don't have any points in basic... You don't have any points in the basic tech skill specifically. No. Do you? Okay. All right, then, yeah. I'm, I'm more of a combatter than a technology. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> okay, back to skill. All right. Uh, DV10. Okay, that's... All right, you're not looking for anything specific, so you're on. So you're using the easier DVs. You find ten eddies worth of salvage. Okay. Roll me a six sider to see what category that's in. Uh, five. Five armor. Get like that an is... aluminum hat. Yeah, that's not going to bother you. Oh. Oh. How much did I say? Ten eddies worth? No. Yeah, that's not even... <clears throat> okay, I'm going to give you a free upgrade. You now have a Kevlar hat. Oh, yeah. So this is... Specifically head armor, it's not as good as the light armor jack armor that you already have. Yep. But uh, it's something in case you're... Uh, it's something that you can sell, or it's something that you can use um, if uh, the armor you've already got gets too shot up. That is... Woo! And uh, in case it ever comes up, that has a stopping power of seven. Okay. But uh, Kevlar can be built into any uh, piece of clothing. So uh, you can tell us, what type of hat does this look like? You were poking through. Something caught your eye. Let's just do a cowboy hat one. Ooh. Just... Cowboy hat. Like a slim cowboy hat or a ten gallon cowboy hat? Like a like the <laughs> slim one. Okay. Oh, does it have is it bent on one side uh, the Australian way? Yep. 100%. Okay. <laughs> nice. You're like, hey, somebody threw away a perfectly good hat. Cool. <laughs> and then you go back to camp and it starts raining again. <laughs> he has a hat on so he's not getting wet <laughs> uh, 
Okay, I'm really hoping that somebody rolls a one. So let's... <laughs> <laughs> Leave it to Shannon. She'll do it. <laughs> I'm here. I'm ready. <laughs> Shannon, are you... Okay, don't choke. Are you looking for anything in particular, or are you just looking to see for anything that looks valuable? Whatever looks valuable. Uh, okay, that is the easier DV route. Uh, roll me a ten cider. Add your basic tech skill. Four plus five for nine. <laughs> nine. Okay, that is uh, uh, ten EBs, ten eddies worth of gear. Uh, roll me a six cider to see what type of gear it is. Five. Five. Armor. Okay. Uh, you found a leather hat. Ooh. <laughs> what type of hat is this? Well, my wardrobe and style is incredibly high, meaning she knows more about this than I do. Oh. So whatever looks good on her. Maybe one of those, oh. like... You know, button caps, button to the bill caps that I don't know. I know nothing. <laughs> you know nothing. Nice. Beach boy hat. Boy hat. <laughs> yeah, the thing. Sure. I was gonna say newsy hat. <laughs> A leather beret. Uh, no, not not. Ber I can't do French. Not beret. We oui, we. Oui. <laughs> <laughs> Fiery <laughs> missiles. <laughs> okay, guys. So, um, uh, I would like to uh, point out something uh, because uh, time has passed. Um, a few days since you left Night City, it's you've done a, you performed a week of downtime, and above and beyond that, um, it took you a few days to get out here before you. <laughs> Oh, way, way back before you started the uh, Philharmonic Vampires gig, uh, you spoke with uh, your landlord, and uh, Zara's landlord specifically reminded you that rent is due tomorrow. Well, how that much, was... How much is that rent? Days ago. Uh, doesn't matter. Uh, rent was not paid. Oh, good. You, got, you know, were out on a mission, and then you were out of town, and uh, then you spent a week in the... Um, you're now homeless. That's <laughs> fine. I'm cool with that. My home was nothing but a, a crate anyway. Yeah. A place so to you're... sit and wait for the next job. So uh, you could visualize uh, this happening uh, in your dreams. Um, you... Uh, the landlord used a crane to lift up your cargo container homes, move them over the, uh, move them over the bay, tip them over, dump them out, <laughs> and rent it to the next. C'est la vie. To the next tenant. Uh, all except for Jinx, because her home uh, was a workshop, which was hidden in a junkyard so mm -hmm. maybe it's still there when you get back maybe somebody else moved in you'll know you have a lot of dolls hanging from trees around there as a warning so <laughs> uh hey, bud. the rest of you oh uh here's something that i've been forgetting to do <laughs> uh, hey, uh, Jason, uh, suddenly your agent pings uh, because oh. uh, the atmosphere uh, cleared up and uh, you got some uh, reflection off the cloud cover and uh, you were able to receive a voicemail from uh, your supervisor, from your captain back at Night, back at Night City. And he tells you... Um, 
Uh, he tells you about the results of the investigation into the chapel that you called in. He says, uh, "Yeah, we were able to fi- uh, we were able to find uh, uh, the remains of a few missing people. So those are some cases that we were able to close. So uh, thank you for that. I am." Uh, we were able to uh, tag and uh, categorize a lot of evidence. There were shell casings all over the place, which is a little weird because uh, most <laughs> of our most of our guns use caseless ammo these days. Uh, we did find uh, uh, we did find a headless body. Um, which was downstairs, and uh, that was a little weird. We weren't able to find the head. Uh, we think maybe some rats ate it. Uh, anyway, that's how I'm writing it up on the report, so I don't have to deal with it. Uh, we did find a, a broken turret, uh, which was a little weird because it's the type of turret that's uh, controlled by a net architecture, and we did not find any uh, net architecture on site. And that yes. is a... One thousand dollar, a one thousand eddy item, in and of itself, and uh, that's going to buy a lot of policeman ball tickets. So uh, if you have any idea what happened to that, let me know. Okay. Yeah, I'm just and, li- and I'm I'm listening to all this, and I'm I kind of when mention of the of the headless, I'll look over towards Jinx. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's stay off, and I'll see you back here in two days. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> and how long ago was this? <laughs> when when was this message left? About five days ago. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm, something tells me I don't have, I won't have a job when I get back. I believe James is a freelancer. So <laughs> Um sorry, by the way, the cat I'm holding is Buddy. Buddy uh suffers from neglect. It is self diagnosed. Uh he's always convinced that he is neglected. And if I put him down he will jump up again. At least he's so. not screaming, he just wants snuggles. He does. Mine screams about snuggles. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Um, I'd get him to look hey. in the camera. There's that's Buddy. Oh. <laughs> it squishes his little head. <laughs> hmm? Yes. Again, neglect. It's self-diagnosed. He also suffers from malnutrition. Also self-diagnosed. Um. <laughs> He eats pretty much everything. So, yeah. Hmm. Okay, so uh, Jinx is um, uh, resting uh, at the campsite, and uh, she's listening on the radio to uh, some media who's broadcasting a show called Bittersweet Ramblings. (laughs) <laughs> she gets oh, visited by, and she gets visited by a stray junkyard cat uh? <laughs> so not a stray anymore so between listening to this uh famous podcasting media <laughs> and during the time of the red over and uh, the uh, encounter with the cat, Jinx regains one humanity point. Aww. Nice. And we're missing eleven. <laughs> Do you need me for a moment? Uh, no. As I'm about to uh, speak with Luke. Yay! Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Luke, uh, is Zed intending to follow up on that lead that he heard when you passed through Las Vegas, or is he going to look for another gig next? Another paying uh, he's gig? Gonna, he's going to follow up the lead. Okay, going to follow up the lead. That'll give us something to do during the next game session. So, Ruby, 
Nice. Okay, so we're going to uh, be investigating uh, the uh, killing of Zed's parents. Mm -hmm. That'll give us something to do. Are the rest of the guys in turn, uh, intending to ever return to Night City? Or are you going to uh, remain, <laughs> remain wandering barbarians? Or are you going to set down roots in some new community? Maybe in Arizona or New Mexico or Nevada? If you're just fed up with Night City and uh, the, uh, and the uh, landlords of Cranes. I don't know. I think Jinx would want to check on her stuff because her stuff's pretty well hidden. Um, okay. But wouldn't mind going to some other cities, I don't think. I don't know where everyone else is. We, were we... Um, we were kind of in a lot of trouble in Night City, though, if I remember right. <laughs> By Night City standards, no, not a lot of trouble. <laughs> By our standards, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Oriel does want you dead. Uh, you do have an ally who's trying to uh, smooth things over for you mm -hmm. uh, back in town. So it's not hopeless. But uh, yes, you you are correct. Um, Sav Oil is uh, making life unusually dangerous for you right now. Gotcha. Would Sob Oil be in like hey. one of the other cities like Vegas or something like that? Or are they okay, more uh, Sob... centered in Night City? Uh, Sob Oil does have some uh, offices in major cities throughout the world, but it is headquartered in the Soviet Union, and its prime rival is Petrochem. And Petrochem has a lock on uh, fuel business throughout North America. So Sob Oil has very few fingers in North America outside of Night City. It's basically okay. just in the city in order to import its plastic goods. Gotcha. So, so, um, if, you, so if you had to pick a... <laughs> A mega, a mega corporation to tick off. Uh, Sob <laughs> oil is your uh, least unwise choices. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, you could have ticked off uh, Militech or Arasaka or Petrochem, and in which, in which case you're in the wrong neck of the woods to be on their <laughs> bad side. Gotcha. <laughs> All right. So what are you guys thinking? Do you want to stay out in the desert or go to Vegas or well, go to I Night mean, City? I've, I've pretty much burnt the bridges that I had at Night City Police Headquarters because I was told five days ago to that I was essentially supposed to be back three days ago. That ain't happening. So I probably no longer have a job. Rent was due. Don't have a place to live now. You sound like minor quibbles. I, I went. These are all good yeah. things. So what does Zara? My, think my, my, about? my love life was in, in shambles there, so. <laughs> What love life? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so I, I think I'd be all for going someplace or roam, roaming around a bit. And <laughs> uh, Zara would much rather be a nomad, but because this group has constantly provided her a source of fun, she will stick with them for the time being. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so whatever they decide to do as a group, whatever. All right. Uh, so Zed definitely wants to go to Vegas next, but uh, any uh, longer-term plans beyond that? 
Are you even interested in returning to Night City? Not really. The only thing I ever got in Night City was trouble. Okay. I got money and booze. Yes, I, I, that was the good. I, 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 I wouldn't have a problem going back, passing through, and then leaving again type thing, but nothing where it would be a permanent resident. We would have to definitely clear up our name because I am not running from the law. That's annoying. <laughs> Wherever the money leads. Yep. Okay, then. Uh, so, uh, Jinx wants to return at some point, um, at the very least, uh, in order to pack up, uh, all of her stuff at her workshop. Other than that, I'm hearing that, uh, the, the group doesn't really have a preference one way or the other. Is that right? Yep. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Okay, so you're going to be laying low and uh, avoiding Night City uh, for the short period uh, while uh, you hope that Sob Oil forgets about you. And that uh, means that a week has passed. Uh, you've acquired your uh, Atari cartridges, which turned out to uh, be of great sentimental value and very little, <laughs> and very little <laughs> value. Yes, I got a paint gun. <laughs> and you've learned firsthand that money is very tough to come by in uh, the dark future uh, outside of performing gigs. But hey, uh, you guys, uh, you've been. Uh, going at it hard for uh, several gigs in a row. You needed some downtime. Mm -hmm. So you're now well rested and homeless. <laughs> and <laughs> as you drive back into uh, Las Vegas and uh, your vehicles are very low on fuel, so you're definitely going to have to go and have to stop in some city. I had extra you know, uh, gas. I got extra gas with yeah. the no bads. Oh, that's right. You did get a few uh, cans of extra gas. So, all right. Um, you're back up to half a tank now. Okay. Thank you for remembering that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Vegas is where you're heading next. Uh, you drive into Vegas in order to see the... Uh, uh, famous Sunset Strip, and you're looking for the newspaper office. And that is all that I've got for this evening. We're not going to launch a whole new investigation tonight. <laughs> <laughs> this is a short session. We're finishing about half an hour earlier. Unless, uh, I'll, I'll open the floor up. Is there any, un is there any, uh, new business? <laughs> I, heard. I got nothing. What would be considered to be new business? <laughs> um, if you declared that you wanted to try to fabricate or invent anything extra, uh, you still got a couple of days out of your week in which you can do that. Mm -hmm. uh, that would be an example. Or if there are any uh, plot threads that I've forgotten. Like, I almost forgot about uh, the phone call that uh, Calvary was supposed to receive a couple of <laughs> sessions ago about, about the uh, missing... Um, about uh, the missing hardware. Uh, if you guys wanted to stop at a pawn shop and try to sell any of your salvage, we could do that now. Or we could take care of that next session. Either way, I say uh, now. Now that we're in range of like the the city's uh, network and all that, I'm actually going to use my agent to see if I can find or dig up any uh, type of potential bounties or anything like that that we could uh, use to 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 maybe make some money. I'm going to be working on disco equipment so that I can do uh, create a rave and sell tickets for people to get into said rave.
Okay. Uh, do you <laughs> do you have do you have the forgery skill? I don't see it. I don't see forgery. No. Okay. okay I do. do. Going... <laughs> <laughs> okay, then Allison, you're going to be using Jinx's fabricate again. Okay. We're going. Okay, we're going to do this the same way as we did it last time. And I'm I don't remember the... what that was. <laughs> I'm going to set the DV at. Uh, this is a. Uh, very straightforward. I'm going to set the DV at 8. Okay. This will be easy to fake. You're going to roll a 10-sider. You're going to add your uh, basic tech. And you're going to add your field expertise, which is an extra 4 points. All right. so... And your cyber hand does not help with this time. 17. 17. That's uh, way more than 8. So, okay, you make a, a very convincing uh, invitation. Are you selling these, or are you giving them out for free? I'm selling them. I'm getting some cash for them. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm wearing my mouse head while selling them. How many dice do you have handy? Like these? Like six siders oh. or ten siders or? All right, roll them all, and that's how many eddies you were able to sell worth of tickets to this non-existent raid. Okay, because I have five die out right now. So <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Because <laughs> I rolled a couple ones. <laughs> How much? 18. 18. Okay. You. Well, I only have five die out right now. I don't have like a whole bunch more die out. For me, it would have been 16. Because in... I have all of these. <laughs> okay. It would have well, been ones. I'm seeing. I, I've, I've got an entire. Well, I, I do have like this. I just didn't have them out. <laughs> I'm the same. Do you want me to? Allison, do you want me to roll out all my die? <laughs> no, Allison. This okay. is what you did. Uh, you sold okay. 36 worth of tickets. All so right. you can add 36. Uh, that's uh, not bad since it cost you nothing in supplies. These are just <laughs> uh, e tickets, and uh, I'll give you the option of whether you're going to actually throw. Post a rave or not? Oh yeah, I'm gonna post a rave. You I've got the mouse hat. I got the mouse <laughs> hat. I've got the disco ball, like the whole. I know. It might be in an alley someplace, but I'm hosting a rave. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a real yeah, rave. It's a duck alley. Okay, you able to find, to find out uh, because somebody reaches out to you about this that your tickets were all purchased by a party gang. Named the Piranhas. Oh no. We can roll them. This they... sounds like quality good group to hang out with. I don't see the problem here. <laughs> they are a famous or infamous, depending upon your <laughs> depending upon your uh a point of view, party gang. They have been around since the twenty twenties, at least. Mm -hmm. And they travel from city to city, and uh, their membership uh, changes um, as people uh, drop out and uh, new party goers uh, join. And they just ha throw really raucous, wild parties. Great. And then they move on to the next city and attend a new party there. It's Hmm. Huh. They are. This is a faction in the game. The <laughs> Nice. <laughs> they do like their raves. They do like their uh, their street drugs, and they do show up armed. So this so that'll be fun. I think it uh, will be. 
Jason, roll me a 10 cider and add your library search skill. You may add two points to this because you did specify that you're using your agent. Your DV is going to be a 15. Seven, some ten, nine. Oh, two munchkins are on camera now. <laughs> Rolled a 17. 17, excellent. Okay, you found both a bounty and you also found a, a possible lead for a gig. There is a clothing manufacturer uh, who is uh, looking for uh, edge runners in order to uh, perform a job for them uh, outside of town, out on the open road. And they specif and they specified that you they do want you to provide your own transportation. In addition this to that, the, you this also, is the gig. Yeah, that's the gig. You okay. also found bounty. Oh. Just keep watching the lights on Shannon's wall, just staring at him. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm like, twinkle, twinkle. Ignore twinkle. the subliminal messaging I put behind everything. <laughs> Too late! <laughs> yes, I will go buy Silly String. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Reasonable. The was been put out by uh, the uh, Las Vegas uh, Sheriff Department. It's a 500 Eddie reward for uh, dead or alive for an infamous mercenary uh, who performed an assassination inside of Las Vegas recently. His name is Mr. Stud. Is he a gigolo? Cause he sounds like a gigolo. There is a cybernetic implant that you can get called the Mr. Stud, and he was the and it's named after him. He modeled for it. <laughs> <laughs> he just broke Luke, okay? <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> just say it's a sounding rod. I've, I've heard of this one before. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll let the uh, the rest of the group know that I've uh, came across this bounty and this gig. So, but I I, I will leave deference to to Zed's um, uh, lead and and. Uh, investigation first so what was the price on the bounty 500 Five. this how is much what was the we're gig working for now <laughs> okay here's the description from the book a mr stud trademark sexual implant has to be installed in a clinic and the description reads, all night, every night, and they'll never know. 500 days. They'll never know? <laughs> the corresponding uh, female implant is called the Midnight Lady. Yep. It is. That's well, sexist. Looking... Ladies don't just like to enjoy themselves only at midnight. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, so uh you have some options of what of the different things you can do you can do some mercenary work or you can track down this mercenary who was a well-known adult performer before he became an edge runner 
Uh, or you can uh, throw a rave. And um, you've already decided that you're absolutely going to be uh, performing some investigation. All right. At this point, I am going to say that I've got absolutely nothing left. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm not going to t try to tackle any of that in the 20 minutes that we've got left. <laughs> By the way, how much was the gig uh, going to pay? Uh, that is actually an adventure that was created by John John the Wise. And nice! He, he did specify a price. I think it's a thousand eddies. Okay. If I remember correctly. But I'd have, but I'd have to look that up. It's called an Ode to Fashion. So we've got options in L.A. Vegas, we're in Vegas. Sorry, LV. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Aren't you a law man? You're supposed to be good at this stuff. <laughs> or you can do it all at a casino. They do still have casinos. Is the Luxor still there? Oh. If you pay me a luck point, the answer is yes. I don't know, is it worth it? Because in real life, my dad was the one who uh, de designed and uh, the, the the four spotlights at the top of the pyramid that beam up into space. <laughs> oh, <Hi>. cool. <laughs> in that one, you convinced me. I'm going to say yes, the Luxor is still there. <laughs> <laughs> It might be under a different name in the dark future of 2045, but the building is still there, and cool. it is business. Yeah, my dad did a lot of stuff with spotlights. Did the Luxor? He also did a bunch of stuff for uh, the Kennedy Space Center. That's pretty damn cool. I did not know that. It's cool. So he was an electrical engineer? No, he was a mechanical engineer. Oh, mechanical. Okay. Yeah. The the, the company that did the spotlights also did um, uh, large-scale uh, movie projector uh, for theaters. And their actual claim to fame were was um, chicken fryers. <laughs> That's their best one. <laughs> chicken fries you mean the basket no the actual like entire thing that had the the, the hold the oil and the, 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 the entire array was the what they would do all right the appliance like in restaurants or in home yeah. kitchens yeah. restaurants okay so I have your father to thank for all of this girth around my midsection. It's his fault. Small world. <laughs> I'll remember that. Well, and the, the, the other thing is that uh, my grandfather on my mom's side would help us uh, helped win the the war, uh, World War Two, because uh, he was the primary uh, engineer uh, of building the Enola Gay at the Martin Bomber plant. God. <laughs> My grandma so liked to get drunk and pulled her own teeth out. <laughs> <laughs> and I love her. She was an amazing lady. <laughs> He's not gonna pay a dentist for that crap. Come on. Fuck no. <laughs> Give me another shy. <laughs> yep, that's how it went. <laughs> one by one. Uh, so for anyone listening who didn't know, uh, we had a, uh, a tiny guest appearance tonight of uh, mm -hmm. Allison's podcast, which is called Bittersweet Ramblings. It is still available for download. Mm -hmm. And 
working my way through the old episodes. They're great. New episodes will be coming. They will be. Eventually. They will be. <laughs> Bittersweet Thank ramblings. You. Get it? Can you get it everywhere? I think so. I think I liked I it, it on, on Apple. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Yeah, most people nice. get it from uh, would find it on Apple. I use Podbeam. I use uh, I yeah something like that. I had to stop using um, Apple because it kept taking up too much space, and I had to switch to one of the other apps. So I found Spotify. Spotify, cool. Thank you. I I appreciate uh, Scott and Luke listening. Everybody listening. That's thanks. Listening to me L literally ramble. Rambles in there for a reason. <laughs> Uh, will you please tell us where to find you? Who? Luke. Oh, I quit streaming. I don't stream no more. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. You know where you can I find Luke? You can find Luke here. Mm -hmm. Here and here alone. That's where you can find Luke. <laughs> I was, Do you have I was any historical to... things that people can watch on, like, Twitch or... Uh, maybe my previous pod, like my previous like streams, but I'm usually in other people's streams. Hey, that's something. Uh, well, we appreciate you being here. Mm -hmm. For that, and uh... so, uh, Shannon, where do people find uh, your streams? Well, when I started up again, I am Ms. Direction, M-I-Z-Z-D-I-R-E-C-T-I-O-N. If that's not spelled right, it's because of beer. <laughs> <laughs> it's spelled <not> right. <laughs> Blame it on the okay. alcohol. B-E-R. <laughs> uh, Jason, you don't have anything to plug, do you? No. <laughs> Jason's Jason's also available here, here alone. That's where you can find Jason. You that come on here. Saturdays will uh, on the uh, uh, Pathfinder. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. yes. Although this Saturday we're off because yes. there are people on vacation. Yeah. Yep. So, yes. I did not know that. All right. Yep. Cool. Yeah. So uh, some Saturdays, <laughs> some upcoming yeah. Saturdays. Uh, they're going to be playing Pathfinder on the weekend and um, maybe Call of Cthulhu sometime soon. Might have some spooky games coming up for spooky season. Okay. Mm -hmm. that, and, then some, and then sometime soon, too, that should be the Haunted Logs 5th Annual What the... Oh, fuck anniversary. Yes. <laughs> I would have said it myself, but I've got young ears that are one in the year, house. One of our cast members carried his microphone to the restroom. Yes, it was hilarious. Which, I don't know if I was there for that one. No, you weren't. <laughs> you weren't. It was a slow burn to where we were like, you're not muted, you're not muted, but he couldn't hear us. And so when he came back, we were all, you know, still in our chairs in front of our microphones, basically pissing ourselves because we were laughing so hard. <laughs> it was a good time. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 yes. Right, he never lived plug. that down. Nope. <laughs> oh, I do have something to plug. Um, I uh, just launched a new uh, YouTube uh, short form video channel um, uh, they don't count as YouTube shorts because they're uh, slightly over a minute they're uh, one to three minutes each it's called Nova Things You Can Do in Cyberpunk and there, nice. should, and there are a couple of videos out now uh, that's all I got good night good night everybody we should be back in two weeks um, but I guess just follow us and We'll see you then. Yup, yup, yup. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.